All right, welcome to your second case, case B. So similar to what we just did with Eddie, you are now going to debate um, the different sides of case B. So what I want you to do is pause my video and read case B together as a class. And then when you're ready, go ahead and start my video once again. Okay, great. So let's look at this together. JD is caught shoplifting a cell phone at Verizon. Okay, but JD is 19 years old, so four years older than Eddie. This will be his third felony conviction, all for shoplifting. So he's done this three times now. Because of the three strikes law, his state requires that he serve a minimum off of 10 years in prison with no chance for parole. So there's a three strikes law. He shoplifted three different times, so now his state is requiring that he serve a minimum of 10 years in prison. There is no chance of parole for JD. So we are going to discuss, once again as a class, um, is it fair to JD? Is this fair to Verizon? And is this fair to society? So what I want you to do is split the class down the middle once again. We're going to have two groups, group one and group two. And similar to case A, we're going to go through and I'm going to assign each group the side that you're going to take. You're going to discuss with your group, debate, choose a new person each time to represent your group. And then you're going to analyze in your own thoughts and your own words in your online notebook what you personally think should happen to JD. All right. So let's look at this. Group one, is it fair to JD? You say no. Is it fair to Verizon? You say yes. Is it fair to society? You say no. All right, so whoever can be a scribe in group one, go ahead and write that down so you don't forget which side that you are taking. Group two, is it fair to JD? You say yes. Is it fair to Verizon? No. Is it fair to society? Yes. Now you're gonna have to use your creativity really use each other and hear all the different ideas um, so that you can hopefully win the debate. All right. So go ahead now and split it up into your two groups. You have roughly five minutes to discuss, take your stance and think of some solid facts and reasons um, behind why you think it's either fair to JV or you don't. All right. And then we will come back for our debate. Okay. Go ahead and start doing that now. I'm not gonna set a five minute timer this time around or timers throughout. You can use your judgment as a class. Maybe you need more than that time. Maybe you don't need as much time at all. There's a lot more flexibility in this case. This is the harder one of the two. There's a lot more involved with this one. So really think critically about your group's stance. And um, remember, you're trying to provide a strong case to support your answer to convince your teacher, right? You have about five minutes. Group two, you will go first again, and then continue the video um, to jump to the next uh, part of the debate. All right, now let's go to our next question. Is it fair to Verizon? So group one, no, it is not fair to Verizon, right? Verizon didn't get paid for the phone, I mean, JD went to jail, but Verizon still has to cover that expense. Group two, you say, yes, this is fair to Verizon. JD is in, people like JD that shoplift, they are put in prison, there's no, or jail, there's no um, threat of them shoplifting again, at least for a while. So you guys are thinking of different reasons, yes or no. Remember, you have about two and a half minutes. This is flexible, however much time that you guys need. And then go ahead and present your arguments. Group one, you go first, and then followed by group two. Then continue the video once you have finished. All right, and then the last part to our debate. Is it fair to society? So group one, you say, yes, this is fair to society. Hey, three strikes law, three strikes you're out. 
you go to jail, minimum of 10 years, that's fair, all right? Group two, you say, no, this is not fair. JD shouldn't have to serve 10 years in prison without any chance of parole for shoplifting three times, okay? Here is case B, just in case you need to refresh your memory. So he's caught shoplifting a cell phone at a Verizon store. He's 19, okay? So he's over 18, 19 years old. This is his third time doing it, right? It's a third felony conviction, all for shoplifting. Because of this law, he has to serve a minimum of 10 years. That's what the state requires. So go ahead and discuss within your groups. And when you're ready, after about one minute, 45 seconds to a minute, um, two spokespeople from each group. Group two, you go first, and then followed by group one. And maybe your teacher can give you their opinion on who did the better job overall. Then what you're going to do is play my video once again and I'll give you your next instructions. All right. All right, great job guys. Now what you're going to do is return to your seat and open your online notebook to the justice mini debate once again. So the thing you already typed in for case A, now we're gonna to go to case B. And I want you to fill in your thoughts there for your own personal opinion. And then after that, you can do your reflection for today. And I'm really curious what you think for the reflection. Let's jump to it. All right, so your reflection of the day today is based on their cases. So based on each person's circumstance, who do you think has the better chance of committing a crime once again, Eddie or JD? So there's a lot to think about here. So do you think Eddie has a better chance of trying to shoplift something again? Because he really only got in trouble with his parents, essentially. I mean, he didn't have to serve any time for anything, pay anything at all. Or do you think JD has a better chance of committing a crime? He did go to jail for 10 years. So what does that mean for his future? What do you guys think? It's their own personal opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. All right. That's it for today. Go ahead and finish up and have a great rest of your Monday.